subwoofer gymnastics, ladies and gentlemen. What's up everybody? I got a brand new unboxing today. This is the SVS SB5000 Revolution. Brand new subwoofer from SVS. Let's get it open and see what this bad boy can do. Now I haven't had a, an SVS subwoofer in a little while, so they actually have opening instructions. Make sure you follow that. Probably just gonna make the process a hell of a lot easier. And of course it says team lift because this, this is a heavy, heavy speaker. All right. We got this one, let's see. I don't know, I'm not reading that stuff. Let's just open it. Oh, we got another box, ladies and gentlemen. You're almost there, teasing me. <laughs> what if we were to... There we go. All right, we got it out of the box. IEC power cable, three prong, uh, literature and information about the app. We got a grill here. Ooh, nice grill, little SVS logo here, fantastic. Oh yeah, this is heavy, Oh. Oh yeah, look at this thing. Woo! Mm-hmm. All right, so while this is still movable, let's check out the back real quick. So we've got our screen for the app and controls. We got up, down, and probably a selector button. Wireless audio adapter, USB. IR input, trigger input, RCA inputs, including LFE. We also have a pair of RCA outputs. And what I like a, a lot about this subwoofer is we've got balanced input and output. Uh, for both left and right. And down here we have the power port. Oh, it's got little feet on the bottom here. This is pretty heavy, so I would recommend you get some help getting it wherever it needs to be. As you can see, we've got two subwoofers here. This is the ELAC, which I've been rocking, moving up to this SVS SB5000. This is a 12 inch and the SB5000 is a 15 inch. Should be a good upgrade for this space here. I'll put the cubic footage of this room. It's like a rectangle with a triangle on top of it. And then there's an open bathroom, which is what I'm facing here. I probably need two subwoofers, but I don't want to take up a lot of space. I mean, already look at how much space two subwoofers take up. I can't even, you know, lounge on my chaise here. The SB5000 subwoofer from SVS has a 15 inch woofer mated to a 2000 watt amplifier. I believe it's dual monoblock amplifiers producing that 2000 watt RMS number with 5000 watts peak power. As far as the ported version, you're gonna spend $500 more. The sealed version comes in at 2000, the ported version is gonna be 2500, and it's a lot bigger as that's what you're gonna need with a larger cabinet, big old ports. This is the replacement for the SB4000 and PB4000. I did make a video about the PB4000 years ago in a different room. I believe SVS is having a sale on the PB4000. So if you're thinking about getting a subwoofer, now might be the opportunity to do so. So I'm running the SB5000 in a 5.1.4 Dolby Atmos configuration with a purlis in front stage and the surrounds and the high channels are the monolith satellite speakers. And if you saw my previous video comparing four AV receivers together, I'm running the Denon X6700H. That was all with the internal amps, so I have to reintegrate my amplifiers and reintegrate the subwoofer for this system. So you know what that means. That means we're going to have to calibrate. So I've got the Spatial Audio Calibration Toolkit. I've got a U-Mic 1. We are going to run Magic Beans. Just like many others have said, they get the best out of their home theater when they're running Spatial Audio Calibration Toolkit and Magic Beans. You should too. We've got a 4th of July sale happening right now through the end of Sunday. Make sure you take advantage of this time, especially if you're out there buying subwoofers, buying new speakers. You need to recalibrate, get the best calibration tools on the planet for your home theater. It'll be interesting to see how well the SB5000 handles this space, because it's pretty large. And if it does a great job here, I might actually take it to the studio to see if it could handle a Dolby Atmos mixing application. That I'm very excited to see. So let's get into it. Right. I think that's the dresser over there. Look at that one. 
left power pole. expect everybody to go out and pick themselves up a mini mode model D just to test out the subwoofer you're probably better off picking up the spatial audio calibration toolkit like we have here on screen and maneuver to the crossover points section and then you're going to choose the LFE track which is on the bottom right here of the menu and turn it up but you know we're not responsible for you breaking anything it's gonna start 250 hertz and make its way down to 16 and it'll show you where the frequency is all right You can take your headphones off now if you haven't already. And we're gonna get into my first impressions here of the SVS SB5000. First is, wow, that's the first part. Uh, secondly, this room is 2,300 cubic feet, just this area here, and it opens up to the bathroom, which is where the camera's at. And I don't know what that space is, but I'll tell you this, the SB5000 definitely pressurized this room. Like when I had the, synthesizer on um, no filter open, I could still, and I was playing notes, I can still feel the pressure on my eardrums. As far as the 12 inch that I had in here before, comparing to the SVS, I'm looking at them both right now, like this is not a comparison at all. This SVS is got much bigger driver, and oddly enough, the cabinet size is almost very similar between the two. If you're looking to get more base in your home theater, I think you should definitely check out the SB5000. I was able to check out a few movies. Uh, something's wrong with my Xbox. I really want to get some gaming in, so I'll probably do a full review after I've lived with the subwoofer for a month or two. But at this initial juncture, this thing's pretty badass and it'll handle all the low frequencies, not a problem. It just depends on your space. I was thinking that I need to have two subwoofers in this location, but after hearing and experiencing the SB5000, I might have to just stick with one. We'll see. And I might actually have to take this to the studio because my tracks go down to 15 Hertz. So I want to hear what that sounds like because I have two tens in there and they struggle a little bit, you know? So yeah, I'm excited to check this out. I'm not excited to carry this thing down the stairs by myself though, I'll tell you that much. I'm gonna definitely have somebody helping me. So check out the SB5000 and of course, don't forget to pick up the Spatial Audio Calibration Toolkit. It's on sale right now. Sale ends Sunday night along with Magic Beans and tighten up your whole home theater system, especially after you add those new speakers or in this case, a new subwoofer. That's it for now. We'll see you in the next one. Peace.